the uh, air brake model AB12-4. It's uh, a four foot. The line comes uh, 12 ton, uh, two foot up to uh, five foot. Uh, we also have a uh, AB24, which is 24 ton that goes from two foot up to eight foot. Uh, this particular machine, uh, as you can see, has uh, the tooling included here, uh, adjustable bed, um, what you can see from the front. Uh, operation wise, all it takes is uh, 90 PSI of air and uh, you're ready to go, no electricity required. All the air brakes come with uh, a uh, bottom die with a half inch groove uh, die holder that uh, has adjustable uh, uh, locks for your for your V die when it sits into the half inch groove. Uh, they also come with a three quarter inch V uh, V die as a standard standard accessory. They also come with a, a standard American style 89 degree punch. Uh, you can use the safety tang. Um, just standard American tooling will work. It's, uh, you did, do not have to use any special tooling in our air brake. We have uh, optional uh, tooling available. You can get a four-way die, a multi-way die, any particular any any uh, tooling setup that you want. Uh, all the uh, air brake models come with a uh, regulator air air regulator with a uh, lubrication system. Um, we have an, a, a, a shutoff valve here, you slide it forward, turns the air off to the system, slide it back, opens the air back up to the system, safety lock out the machine so that you can't use it when that locks in place. Simply remove the lock, slide the air regulator shutoff valve forward, open it up. You have your pressure adjust, you can adjust your pressure. Uh, maximum tonnage is required at 90 PSI, but if you're using lighter tonnage, you can adjust this down to a lower pressure. Uh, we have our lubricator. Uh, you can adjust the amount of uh, oil going into the system uh, just to, uh, for good maintenance on your air-powered parts. It lubricates the, uh, the cylinders and all the other moving parts that uh, are inside the air mechanism. All the uh, air brake models also come with a uh, variable speed uh, valve uh, that controls the speed of your uh, approach, your down speed. Uh, you can shut this valve all the way off and then it'll turn off the ram completely or you can open it all the way for maximum speed or anywhere in between will vary the speed of the ram. Uh, this is helpful when you're having to hit uh, line marks on your material. Uh, you don't want to approach it fast uh, you want to go slow to make sure you hit your marks. Uh, then you can just set this at a lower speed. You still build the same amount of tonnage, it just comes down slower. All the air brake models also come with a uh, stroke adjustment control uh, with a locking handle. You unlock the handle and you're able to turn the hand wheel to adjust your bending depth and then lock it back. And this will become your positive stop. Uh, there's no more accurate way of bending than a positive stop. You know that every time the press brake comes down to the bottom of the stroke it's going to stop at the same point every time. Uh, so if you get a 90 degree bend one time and you don't adjust your stroke length you'll get a 90 degree bend every time. All air brake models come with a uh, slide type manual back gauge standard equipment. We offer several different uh, options for back gauge, a manual screw type, a uh, single axis programmable, dual axis programmable to actually control your bending depth. Uh, but this particular machine standard has the slide type. Uh, you have uh, two adjustments. Basically you can uh, raise and lower the gauge bar, unlock it and lock it back, and then you can slide it back to the right bending depth by unlocking these handles here. And it slides back on the bar, you lock them back down. Uh, each back gauge has uh, the gauge bar itself and then two adjustable fingers with uh, screw type adjustments. You can move those along these at any 
anywhere along in the bolt holes. All the air brake models come with a uh, very intricate foot pedal. It uh, has a, uh, a safety latch to keep uh, from being accidentally tripped. You have to actually kick the toe up to actually push the foot pedal. When you press the foot pedal down, the machine will stroke. When you let go, the machine turns up. The foot pedal also is, is uh, touch sensitive, so you can stop anywhere in the middle and bring it down inch, push it down. As we talked about earlier, in the uh, the foot pedal had uh, the ability to uh, to be a variable foot pedal. You can actually bring your bring your ram down and stop it and keep inching it down until you get your material. Or for quicker modes, you can get the foot pedal to come down and go back up. The adjustable speed, as you'll see as I adjust the speed. You can see that that's fast, and then as it comes down, we can slow it down. Slow it down even more where it just barely creeps. All this is very useful when bending sheet metal. Uh, all the air brake models come with an adjustable bed. Uh, basically, uh, if you have a shorter V die or a shorter uh, top punch, you can adjust your uh, bed height here to match your tooling just in case you don't have enough stroke in the system to uh, reach the bottom of your V-die. You can also adjust these to tilt your bed uh, to allow for tapered bending. Uh, not too much of a tapered bend. You don't want to go from zero to a 90 degree because that's going to be too much, but for a simple tapered bend, you, know, you can offset, offset one side versus the other to achieve that. Simple to uh, bend a sheet of metal. Uh, piece of, uh, looks like galvanized, maybe 16 gauge, uh, stick it in to the back gauge. 